our last speaker, ladies and gentlemen. He started off as a high school math teacher, where he learned the basics of economics, obviously. <laughs> he was part of the Republican Revolution and served his first district great in D.C. He's a successful businessman. I introduce to you, Mark Miller! We still got any energy left out there? Let's try it. Walker! 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 Poor guys on the other side didn't know what they were meant. You guys have been out here for two and a half hours. You're standing here and still full of energy. Get them. Certain person that I usually introduce every place I go, and I usually tell you I met her in a fourth grade Sunday school class and dated all through high school. She's been a wonderful wife for 38 years, a great mother, a wonderful grandma. Today, I'd like to introduce her in a different way. Scott Walker's greatest supporter in the state of Wisconsin, my beautiful wife Sue. Yeah. Now, one more thing. You all know I'm running for the United States Senate, and that Senate race is very important. Could determine whether that Senate gets more liberal or turns this country back around, and that's very important. But we've got something even more important than that to do in the state of Wisconsin. That's re-elect Governor Scott Walker. Scott Walker is my governor. Scott Walker is governor. Scott Walker is our governor, and I just want you to know something. I stand with Scott Walker. Go Mark! Yeah. Yeah. You know, a lot of our elected officials aren't here anymore, but can we give them one more great big round of applause? Yeah. Rebecca Clayfish, the Assembly, the Senate, those guys have done a great job to preserve the great state of Wisconsin. I want to tell you just a little story. This week, my company, uh, you all know I'm in the private sector and that, our companies announced we're opening a new division. That division's going to create 200 Wisconsin jobs. And I want to be very clear about this. When we sit in our boardrooms and make decisions where we're going to invest the capital necessary to create 200 Wisconsin jobs, we invested it here because we have a pro-business, pro-creating governor, Scott Walker. I can't think of a better story to tell you folks in terms of our great confidence in Scott Walker and, and what he's doing for this state and what his team's doing. You know, Scott Walker demonstrated that they can balance our budget without raising taxes and he got this recall as a result. Folks, I believe this recall is a waste of time, money, and resources that could better be spent somewhere else. But I also believe that they got the recall, they did it, and now it's our job to stand up to them let them know anything they can do, we can do better. You know, if there's any doubt, folks, if there's any doubt about what's going on, I want you to think about who they're putting up to run against Scott Walker. <laughs> Kathleen Falk? Is it possible she's as liberal as Tammy Baldwin? <laughs> Tim Collin? Jim Doyle recreate back and spend. It, huh? I ask you sure, once you. again, are we show them that anything they can do, we can do better? Yeah. Folks, America's in trouble. I don't think there's any doubt that, it, that the uh, debt, the 15 trillion dollars of debt that they've run up, 5 trillion in the last four years from Barack Obama by himself, has got America in a very serious situation. It is about time that we end the job killing Obamacare. Yeah. It's about time that we pass a balanced budget amendment to our Constitution. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of the Constitution, it's about time that our federal government starts adhering to the principles of our founding fathers in the Constitution of the United States of America. Yeah, yeah I look at this group and I just don't think those guys know what they were doing. 
Somebody once said about another situation in American history that they've awakened a sleeping giant. So I think they've awoke a sleeping giant here in the state of Wisconsin. Yeah. Everybody in this nation is watching Wisconsin. The heart and soul of this great nation is dependent upon what we do here. Are we going to be a country of freedom, personal responsibility, opportunity, a country where hard work leads to success, and a nation where we have the opportunity to live the American dream, or are we going the other way with government take over and cause our destiny? Folks, that's what's at stake here in Wisconsin. Look, Scott Walker got this budget balanced. He did it without raising taxes, and we need to carry that to the national level. Folks, we can turn this country around. I want you to get ready. It starts with electing Scott Walker. Then we're going to re-elect Rebecca Clayfish. We're going to hold, we're going to hold the Senate. And then we're going to have a clean sweep in the fall, and for once and for all, these liberal ideas are going to be out of America. I want to help you understand something that the other side doesn't get. Early this summer, Sue and I made a decision up that we would get into this race for the United States. Now, my three kids, one of them's got three kids in his family, my grandchildren, and they had a house talk of what it meant for Grant running for the United States Senate and how that would affect their lives. I wasn't privy to that talk. After that talk, they came over to our house. Folks, this is a wonderful story that the other side doesn't get. I was sitting on my steps as they were about to leave, and my son Andy says to my grandson, three years old, Charlie, he says, Charlie, tell Grandpa why he should run for the United States Senate. Charlie, three years old, strong, solid voice. Grandpa, tell him to quit spending my money. <laughs> this is the greatest nation in the world, the United States of America, and the eyes are on Wisconsin to lead us out of this mess we're in, back into a bright future where hopes and dreams and opportunities and the American dream is alive and well. That's what this is all about. Elect Scott Walker, re-elect Scott Walker, hold the Senate, keep Rebecca Clayfish, and put the ball. Thank you, and God bless you all.